Hi guys, it's Nick. Okay, get yourself a nice cup of tea, nice bit of cake, get yourself comfortable on the sofa, sit back and watch the master of the Jobson Horn at work. So this gentleman was referred to me by a local doctor and he had been to the local hospital to have some new molds for his hearing aids and it was only about halfway through the conversation that i realized that they had actually taken the molds with his ears in this condition i can tell you i was spitting feathers at the time and they were very very lucky not to damage his ears so I'm using the Jobson horn. This gentleman has a skin condition. You can see how flaky the skin is on the outer ear. And the problem with this is that um, it's very, very difficult to remove with the microsuction. It's very small, hard pellets that I find very difficult to get the microsuction, even with lots of oil used. But this first ear is coming out quite easily. He's got quite a hairy ear canal, which I think with the combination of that and the dried skin has um, not helped this whole procedure and it also help, hasn't helped the fact that half of it's been pushed back down his ear while some, somebody attempted to take some impressions you can see all those little bits and pieces so that was his first ear and that's nice and clean Problem's going to be is, is that when he comes to have his uh, new moulds fitted, they're not going to fit, are they? And you can see there in the bottom where the plug had gone, where the foam plug had gone, to stop the impression material going any further. So those impressions are just not going to be worthwhile using because they're not going to be the shape of this patient's ear. But this second ear, it just, there's bits, like the first ear, there's bits and bits and bits. At no time was the patient in any distress or concern. You have to be careful using the Jobson horn because it's quite easy to bruise an ear canal. Um, I don't normally use Jobson horn if I've got a patient that's on any blood thinning medication but this is just coming out by the bucket load it would have been so so much easier if this hadn't have all been pushed further down his ear canal But as you can see, I'm just slowly taking my time and it's coming out in hundreds of thousands of little bits. But you can actually see that we're getting the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. I think there's every possibility that this gentleman actually might come back to see me for some private hearing aids in the future because he uh, wasn't very happy when he saw the amount of wax that was in his ears. Just why you would try and carry out a procedure like that. Look at the size of this wax. They could have quite easily have pushed that through that gentleman's eardrum. This man has got quite a large ear canal as well, so these are very, very um, large pieces of wax. In fact, luckily, I've managed to save it all. So you will get to see this at the end. I 
when I'd uh, actually finished removing the wax, I did actually do a little bit of um, hair removal for him. And what I did was I actually did the hair removal, but also used the microsuction to help remove the unwanted hair so it didn't get trapped down inside his ear canal. There we've got just a little bit more to remove there. And uh, I mean, I've edited this down, um, but this was a full half an hour of removing this. Took absolute ages. But we're nearly there now. So as always guys, like me on Facebook, Look at that bad boy. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you very shortly.